Your Call Sam forecast first with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, it's been a steamy Saturday across the Arklamas, to say the least. Heat index value is running fairly high across the area, although they're starting to come down a little bit, especially for folks across southern areas of the Arklamas, just uh, from that shower and thunderstorm activity. Regardless, though, make sure you're staying hydrated and staying cool through the weekend, as we're just not quite getting rid of that heat yet. Highs will be topping out in the middle to upper 90s through that time frame, and uh, maybe a stray shower or thunderstorm, but not much relief as we head into our Sunday. That's your forecast first. NBC 10 News at 6 starts right now. Your local news leader. Voted best newscast by the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters. This is NBC 10 News at 6. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Jones. We start tonight with a group called Shut Down DC. They were seen outside of the Postmaster General's home in protest of the way they believe USPS is handling mail in voting. They say Louis DeJoy's leadership at the Postal Service has been destructive ahead of the November election. They claim DeJoy is dismantling the Postal Service and contributing to voter suppression. Now, this comes after the Postal Service sent letters to states that it can't guarantee all ballots cast by mail will arrive in time to be counted. And it's because of that statement that top Democrats are demanding an investigation. They want to know why the Postmaster General eliminated overtime for its workers. As Kelly O'Donnell reports, the president is standing firm on the idea that the mail-in voting just isn't the way to go as elections inch closer. What looked like a Trump rally downsized. Held outside the clubhouse of the president's private New Jersey golf resort Friday night. A few hundred members of a New York police union gathered close together as their association endorsed him. The brave men and women, as you know, of New York City's finest, and uh, I've, I've admired you my whole life. The president attacking the new Democratic ticket over law and order. Joe Biden and Kamala, they always say Kamala, Kamala. Paris have a plan to spread this mayhem to every community in America. Meanwhile, new alarm bells going off over the fate of mail-in voting under fire from the president. Absentee good, universal mail-in, very bad. At the request of Democrats, the inspector general is now examining big reorganizational moves made by the postmaster general, Louis DeJoy, a Trump campaign donor. DeJoy defended his changes, but acknowledged unintended consequences, like mail delays. NBC News has confirmed that the Postal Service has delivered a warning to at least 22 states, including key election battlegrounds, that higher demand could put votes at risk. That ballots requested near the deadline under state law will not be returned by mail in time to be counted. Former President Obama says this goes too far. What we've never seen before is a president say, I'm going to try to actively kneecap the Postal Service <laughs> to encourage voting. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy sent a letter to Democratic congressional leaders saying he's asking elected officials and voters to realistically consider how the mail works. He says to be mindful of delivery standards so that voters have ample time to cast their ballots through the mail. And speaking of the elections, the polls close in just under two hours here. Nine parishes in northeast Louisiana will be casting their ballots for local races and propositions, like Monroe City Council seat for District 4 and even the mayoral race in Faraday, amongst many others. Tonight at 10, join us back here. We'll have a look at your election results on NBC 10 News at 10. And by now, you've probably noticed it is hot here and across the country. States are seeing some extreme heat. So what is it going to look like for us here right in the Arklamas? Meteorologist Brian Briggs is joining us from the Weather Center with what we can expect. Brian? Well, it certainly is fairly hot, humid outside here. But to be your surprise, uh, you're noticing really no oranges or purples over our area here. Here's the watches and warnings across the region. And most of that activity spans at least across portions of Oklahoma and Texas, where you're seeing excessive heat warnings and heat advisory in place, but uh, really nothing for us at least at this time. Now, we're going to be still seeing some very uh, um, uh, blistering heat as we head into the second half of the weekend here, but there is some good news that drier times and at least somewhat cooler times are on the way, and uh, we will be at least sweating it out for one more day. Details to come later on in full weather, but back to you, Chelsea. Thank you, Brian.
Well, more than 80 million people are under some sort of heat warning, watch, or advisory this weekend. Several states, from Texas to California, are expected to report the hottest temperatures of the summer. And as Britt Conway reports, those extreme conditions are raising fire risk in areas already dealing with wildfire evacuations. A dangerous mix, scorching heat and dry conditions, raising fire concerns across the West. Friday into the weekend, 11 states expecting to report the hottest temperatures of the summer. Temperatures nearing that 110 degree mark, that is hot, people. From Texas to California, 85 million people are under some sort of heat warning, watch, or advisory. And that's making things more difficult for crews already battling wildfires in Colorado, Oregon, and California. In Los Angeles County, authorities have issued evacuation orders for areas impacted by two large wildfires. The Ranch 2 fire in Azusa has burned about 2,500 acres. Authorities there are looking for this man, who they say intentionally started that blaze. The lake fire near Santa Clarita has burned more than 17,000 acres so far and destroyed more than 20 structures. There's been areas of this fire that have not burned in decades. It's an unaccessible terrain, which adds, added to the complexity of the fire. The triple-digit heat also creating a power emergency. The higher demand for electricity forcing Southern California Edison to issue rolling blackouts. In Colorado, crews are battling three different fires. And in Oregon, a fire in Wasco County also giving firefighters a hard time with no relief in sight. And it's going to be a very, very hot, dry weekend. I'm Britt Conway reporting. All right, we'll keep our eyes out on the weather. In other news, a private funeral was held today for murdered Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillen. Her family and friends gathered for the last time at a church in Houston. Now, if you remember, officials say Guillen's remains were found on June 30th in a shallow grave near Fort Hood. Investigators believe a soldier killed her after she filed a sexual harassment charge against him. Now, that suspect killing himself while fleeing police, his wife charged with tampering with evidence for her alleged role in Guillen's death. However, today was about saying goodbye and the Houston mayor says Guillen's death will not be in vain. The Children's Coalition for Northeast Louisiana is giving back with backpacks for the first time ever. They donated school supplies to help parents and kids get ready to head to the classroom drive through style. That's what, what that meant for families coming up. And COVID-19 researchers are looking for a way to infect people on purpose. We're going to tell you why after the break, but like we've been saying, Brian, it is very hot. Hot, humid, and a little bit of stormy activity too today, but uh, we'll be getting rid of that at least as we head into next week. Details on how long this heat will stick around when NBC 10 News at 6 continues. Shop and experience historic downtown West Monroe. Engine in a car wreck during the weekend? Call Christian Creek. I did. He's local and ready to help you 24-7. What are you waiting for? Christian Creed is all you need. If you're going to make one call, make it count. Call Creed and Creed today. Summer is disappearing fast, and so are these interstate deals. Hurry in and save. Our summer clearance event gets zero for 72 months. No payments for 90 days. A Ram Quad Cab, $23,990. A Charger, $23,990. A Grand Caravan, $21,990. A Cherokee, $19,990. A Charity, $18,990. A Compass, $18,990. A Renegade, $14,990. Shop for interstatedodge.com. Get them before they're gone. Only at Interstate Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in West Monroe. Get the six-minute advantage with the live Storm Tracker Doppler radar on NBC10, keeping you and your family safe. Brought to you by Eorum Young Law, the bankruptcy specialist. Follow us on the KTVE NBC10 KARD Fox 14 Facebook page. Baseball is back. Catch all the local Little League action on League Lights. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on NBC10 News at 6 and 10. Sponsored by Century Next Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final morning call. Summer may be coming to a close, but there's still time to make memories in a cabin loaded with connected tech and in-drive entertainment. Enjoy non-stop routes to summer in a new Nissan. And don't miss the last of the 2020 models at the Nissan Bottom Line Sales Event. Save $2,500 on road or save $2,000 on the 2020 Nissan Kicks. Union Kennel.
Allen Farm Supply is the largest full-line pet supply store in the area. We carry cages, aquariums, pet foods, medicines, supplements, toys, and accessories. Union Kennel also specializes in farm and livestock supplies. We're an authorized dealer of Purina and Neutrina show feeds and supplements. Your show season is sure to be a success with Union Kennel on your side. And pets, fur, feathers, fins, and scales, including small animals, birds, reptiles, and fresh or saltwater fish. Union Kennel has them all. Union Kennel and Farm Supply on Hillsboro in El Dorado. Sports with Chris Demersion. Weeknights on NBC10 News. NBC10 News at 6 continues. COVID-19 has caused uncertainty for many, but thanks to the Children's Coalition for Northeast Louisiana, parents won't have to worry about school supplies this year. Hundreds of cars lined the streets as the Children's Coalition hosted its first drive through school supply giveaway. 150 backpacks were filled with supplies for children pre-K through high school. One parent says it feels good knowing the community cares about the kids and their education. It makes me feel really, really good. Uh, it's, it's really awesome that they're doing that, and uh, everyone needs a little help, so uh, I'm really blessed, feel blessed about it. And for Brady, the school supply giveaway is making a huge impact for his family, and that's what the Children's Coalition aimed to do. Due to the damaging effects of the pandemic, they wanted to ease the financial burden on parents. It helps us <laughs> a lot because, uh, you know, just in the, the pandemic that we, we have, you know, my wife was without a job for a little bit, but now she's, she's back on her feet, getting the jobs going back, community starting to go back, but it, it helps us out a lot. Definitely good news there. On average, the Children's Coalition serves 11,000 children and families in 14 parishes each year. They focus on early childhood, healthy living, parenting, and youth development. Well, scientists are working on a strain of the coronavirus to purposely, you heard that right, purposely infect people with COVID-19. It's called the Human Challenge Trial. It would be used to find a vaccine for the virus. And as Elizabeth Cohen reports, one of the leading infectious disease experts says he doesn't think we're going to need that strain. trials are being done now. These are not challenge trials. Right now, we're recruiting people to come in to get an injection, and then they go live their lives, and maybe they run into the virus in their daily life, and maybe they don't. In a challenge trial, you do something very different. What you do is you vaccinate someone with an experimental vaccine, and then you intentionally put the virus into their nose, and that way you see if the vaccine works. Obviously, it's a very direct way of doing that. There have been a few voices calling for challenge trials in the United States, but frankly, not that many. And the National Institutes of Health have made it, has made it very clear that we are not doing challenge trials in the United States. But here's the news. The NIH is contracting, is doing a contract with a company to make a strain of the virus that could be used in challenge trials. Dr. Fauci tells me that this is a preliminary, very contingency plan. He does not think we're ever going Going to use this. He does not think we're ever going to do challenge trials, but he said, look, there's been a lot of pressure to be prepared for these trials, so why not create a strain, stick it in the freezer? We don't think we're ever going to need it. Well, Dr. Fauci says human challenge trials are normally used for when a virus is not widely circulating. The coronavirus is, and the approach may not be necessary like you've just heard, but what is necessary is some water because it is very hot out there. Very hot, very humid, but good news is there is nicer weather on the way and drier too. All those details coming up next when NBC 10 News at 6 continues. Sports with Chris Demersion, weeknights on NBC 10 News. I'm Mike Mayfield with Fast Serve Medical. We're your local experts for mobility and accessibility for the Arkhams. Please join us on Ask the Experts on MyArkhamist.com. Second half of the season. This stretch of road has always been tough. You've got to earn it every week. And this year, it means even more. NASCAR on NBC and NBCSN. The best racing is now. Small businesses are the backbone of Louisiana's economy. If you're struggling to stay afloat during this pandemic, the Louisiana Department of Treasury is here to help. With the Main Street Recovery Grant Program, you support our workforce, Louisiana, and we support you. 
Get the six minute advantage with the live Storm Tracker Doppler radar on NBC 10, keeping you and your family safe. Brought to you by Eorum Young Law, the bankruptcy specialist. This summer, it's time to get back outdoors. Your Honda dealer is open and ready to get you into a new Honda today. Enjoy the sunshine in the family friendly pilot or the rugged passport. Visit the Honda Summer Clearance Event and get a great deal from Honda, KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. Get a great deal on the Pilot at the Honda Summer Clearance Event today. Today I made some chocolate chip cookies for Grandma's birthday. What a marvelous family using gig speed to prepare for Grandma's birthday. For real, those little guys are watching cooking videos while she's live streaming. And Aunt Sue's helping by watching a movie. Classic. She's here. How are they doing all of this without slowing down? It's the gig speed, like I said. You gotta have the fastest internet when your family of influencers. <laughs> Bring every room to life with Suddenlink's one gig internet on our next generation network. Just $75 a month for life. Get the KTVE KARD Baron Weather app, sponsored by Sam Henry, the bankruptcy attorney. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Saturday evening to you. Hopefully you've been able to stay cool and uh, just uh, comfortable as it's been a very, very hot and humid day. Once again, across the Arc Limits, although we're not dealing with that extra cloud cover that we have been the last few days, and that really has sent our temperatures sky high here. We were currently at 96 degrees here in the Twin Cities. That dew point is at 74, and that's uh, giving fairly uh, high heat index values across the area. So if you're out and about today, hopefully you've stayed hydrated as uh, we are not quite done with the heat as we head through the weekend. Currently, temperatures across the area are generally in the lower to middle 90s, although uh, the further south you go, you're noticing those folks a little bit cooler in the 80s and even middle 70s for some, and that's because, well, they've had a little bit more shower and thunderstorm activity than the remainder of the Arklamist today. So it's been kind of scattered all over the place, and those folks have been lucky, the ones that have received some of that rainfall, as uh, the heat index values are very, very high. 108 here in Monroe, 102 in Ruston, 108 in El Dorado as well, and uh, still feeling like 1 in Monticello and Greenville, but uh, only feeling like 77 down in Alexandria, and that's because, well, they've seen that higher shower and thunderstorm activity. So, Despite the heat, though, we do not have any active watches or warnings in the Arklamis, and uh, they're right up on our doorstep here. We do have a heat advisory just to the west, and uh, ex excessive heat warnings and heat advisories into uh, Texas and Oklahoma, but really none of our parishes or counties are covered in that, at least not yet. However, with the conditions being uh, in favor, we could maybe see advisory tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on that. Northwesterly flow continues across the Arklamis, and that has us unsettled and has been having us unsettled here the last few days, but uh, we're going to kind of quickly shift to the tropics and here you can see uh, tropical storm Kyle off towards the north and east and uh, tropical storm Josephine off towards the south and east and again uh, this system looking a lot more healthier than Kyle as it continues to propagate north and east but nonetheless uh, they are not going to be posing any sort of threat to the Arklamis and we will not be seeing any sort of shower or thunderstorm activity from that. Here in our neck of the woods though our live storm tracker Doppler radar is showing that the complex of showers and thunderstorms that developed across our southern regions has now moved out and we are quiet and I would anticipate that we we will not be seeing any more of those showers and thunderstorms through the remainder of the evening and of the overnight as well. Maybe a few clouds from time to time here, but we're going to be remaining dry. Now as we get into Sunday, though, there could be enough instability in the afternoon to maybe see a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. but. Compared to the last couple days, it will be much more isolated. So only a few folks will be getting in on that relief from Mother Nature. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be fairly hot. But the good news is we do have some uh, cooler weather to look at over the next six to ten days. And the Climate Prediction Center still favors us to see somewhat below average temperatures for this time of year over the next uh, six to ten days. So therefore, uh, a little bit of relief is in sight. As we head into tonight, getting into the middle 70s, we get a few clouds from time to time. As we get into our Sunday, highs top out in the middle to upper 90s with a stray shower or thunderstorm possible. And a quick look at the 70 forecast shows that lower 90s return for the week. However, uh, it won't be as humid. So it will still be hot, but more dealable or tolerable, I guess. And uh, maybe those rain chances returning by the end of next week. But all in all, uh, enjoy it while it lasts because, uh, well, it's at least below average for this time of year. Right. And there was no 100s on there anyway, right? So we're okay. No, and uh, definitely at night you're going to feel it as well. So it's going to feel like maybe a Oh, yeah. Much, much more comfortable.
uncomfortable. So definitely just stay hydrated. That's all we oh, can yeah, do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks, Brian. Yep. One NBA coach was dismissed earlier today because of the lack of success under his leadership in the last couple of years. Find out who coming up next in sports with C.J. Macklin when NBC 10 News at 6 continues. Someone infected with coronavirus can spread it without showing any symptoms. Wear a cloth or homemade face covering when you can't physically distance from others. This protects you and everyone around you. As normal activity resumes, wearing a face covering is necessary to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Save lives. Stop the spread of COVID-19. Learn more at healthy.arkansas.gov and find suggested guidelines for face coverings you can easily make at home. Hi, I'm Ken with Ken's Coffee Service. We've been offering filtered water coolers to local businesses for 18 years. Now, due to popular demand, we're offering this service for residential use, featuring the countertop and standing version of my most popular cooler, which filter out the chlorine color and odor in your municipal water. This cooler also provides unlimited cold filtered water. There's no contract and no cost for installation. Call Ken's Coffee Service today, 361-0035. Got a news story you think we should cover? Call the NBC 10 Fox 14 News Tip Hotline, 812-1410. Sponsored by Cooper Home Installation. All day. Country with John Winding Down. All night. Day over. Fire. Sky. All weekend long. Did you see that? The Stanley Cup playoffs continue on NBC. Second half of the season. This stretch of road has always been tough. You've got to earn it every week. And this year, it means even more. NASCAR on NBC and NBCSN. The best racing is now. Russell. 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 Is the open road calling your name? Some guys were born truck drivers. Be trained and certified in just 16 days. Classes are available to get you on the path to your new career. CDL training, third-party testing, safety training, job placement, and financing available. See the world and get paid for doing it. Don't let life pass you by. Call Coastal right now. Exit 101 in Calhoun. The NBC10 mobile news app for Apple and Android. Brought to you by Vantage Health Plan. And now, your local sports with C.J. Macklin. After coaching the New Orleans Pelicans for five years, Alvin Gentry was fired this afternoon after missing the playoffs for four of those years. Also during his tenure in New Orleans, Jr. had a record of 175 wins, but 225 losses. His team has been banged up during this past year after drafting the number one overall pick, Zion Williamson. Not to mention the blockbuster trade that shipped his best player off to Los Angeles. Executive Vice President of Basketball Operations, David Griffin, thinks this head coach vacancy could be the biggest hot commodity. No, we will not be quick with this at all. Um, there, this is not a rush. Um, we have a job that we believe is going to be the most attractive in the NBA, quite frankly. I would say that the virus itself is going to dictate some of our timeline. This, this isn't going to be done solely via Zoom. So depending upon when we're able to sit down and really get to know one another, we'll, we'll have more updates from then on. Your them started their fall scrimmage earlier this morning, and a lot of players got some clock as they played five quarterbacks in this one. While the quarterback derby remains the hot topic for ULM, their defense stole the show. Warhawk defenders limited the offense to one touchdown and a pair of field goals while registering four sacks and numerous pass breakups. But offensively, Matt Viator says they have some things to work on. Yeah, we did. Uh, we got five quarterbacks in, and... Uh... You know, a bunch of running backs and a bunch of different uh, people uh, got an opportunity to get in there. It's, you know, typical, I think, you know, early camp. I mean, you know, offense takes a little time to get going and with all the timing and stuff, so hopefully we'll get there. That's kind of the purpose of these scrimmages is to get everybody opportunity, especially early. So uh, we've got a lot of guys in, and uh, we have a lot to evaluate. Down the street, the Bulldogs of Louisiana Tech resumed fall camp after five players tested positive for COVID-19 during their first week of fall camp. The media was not admitted to this return of camp, but this is a huge week for the Bulldogs as they return to the grass after missing a week of practice. And last, but certainly not least, the Portland Trailblazers took on the Memphis Grizzlies in the play-in to get in the playoffs. And man, it was just too much Nurkic, too much Dame Dollar, and CJ McCollum got busy in the fourth quarter with 14 points and letting the camera know he 
can't guard me. He was talking about Ja Morant. But Ja put on the show as well with the career high of 35 points. But the Grizz fall short, 126-122. A last look at your forecast. After the break, you're watching NBC 10 at 6. Want to know where the fish are biting this weekend? Catch the Honey Hole Insider with my fishing buddy, David Owen. The Honey Hole Insider Weekly Fishing Report. Friday mornings at 6 on NBC 10 News Today. Your local news leader. The reason why we did this major remodel is because we believe in El Dorado in our city and our county. We really want this store to be about our customers. The new store is the culmination of decades of loyalty and customers that have stuck with us and invested in us so that we can reinvest in this community and in the future. I love El Dorado and I love our friends that we have met and our relationships and I couldn't think of anywhere else I'd want to be. Summer is disappearing fast, and so are these interstate deals. Hurry in and save. Our summer clearance event gets zero for 72 months. No payments for 90 days. A Ram Quad Cab, $23,990. A Charger, $23,990. A Grand Caravan, $21,990. A Cherokee, $19,990. A Journey, $18,990. A Compass, $18,990. A Renegade, $14,990. Shop at interstatedodge.com. Get them before they're gone. Only at Interstate Dodge Chrysler 3 Ram Fred in West Monroe. El Dorado Homes is South Arkansas's largest dealer, offering a great selection of manufactured homes with prices to fit every budget. For more than 29 years, El Dorado Homes has been providing affordable, quality built homes to South Arkansas and North Louisiana. You can check out our inventory at eldohomes.com. Customers could qualify for zero down or 90 days of no payments with approved credit. We make the home buying experience simple. Come in and get pre-qualified today at El Dorado Homes, locally owned and operated. We're looking for good news happening in the Ruston area. Go to MyArchlimus.com and tell us about what's good in Lincoln Parish. Then on Wednesday mornings, watch NBC 10 News Today for a dose of good news. Sponsored by our community partner in Lincoln Parish, Kim Dupree. For the second half of our weekend, expect more heat and humidity. But as we head into next week, though, good news is we will at least cool down somewhat. The highs will drop from the upper 90s to the lower 90s. And uh, the most important thing, though, is that the air will not be as humid. So it will be more comfortable, or at least a more comfortable heat. And then uh, we could see those shower and thunderstorm chances returning by the time we get to the end of next week. So enjoy the uh, somewhat nicer weather while we have it. And uh, make sure to stay hydrated and cool for the second half of the weekend. Brian, you said somewhat cooler. What does that even mean? Because it is scorching outside right now. Well, it's still going to be hot, especially in the sunshine, but more in the shade, you'll get a little bit more relief. And especially overnight, our temperatures will be able to cool off a little bit easier. So folks can uh, maybe, well, I wouldn't say this would be <laughs> rolling down the windows weather at night, no. but definitely will help out with the air conditioning for sure. And if you don't have air, get a wet rag for the back of that neck. Okay. Or, <laughs> yep. All right. Thanks, Brian. That's it for us right now. Election results tonight at 10. We'll see you then. And you can stay up to date on my. MyArchlimus.com. See you later.